Hey, good morning. Welcome to I Am The Light. My name is Tasha and I'll be reading for the sign of Virgo. How you doing, Virgo babies? Now, Virgo, let me first and foremost say if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. For those of y'all who are returning, last week, boy, I Spirit had me really lay in on some of the Virgos because some of y'all have been being messed with and Spirit has letting them know, hey, absolutely not some of y'all was shrinking back due to friends and family and spirit was not wanting you to do that they wanted you to stand your ground stand up and fight and 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 do what spirit is saying even if it means breaking away with other people's opinions needed to be so if you were offended by last week's uh reading they didn't tell me to come out here and apologize but just listen and learn because this is one of them you come to my channel you're gonna learn okay that's what this is about now um it was you and Leo last week. Now, Leo is somebody that's watching me with Leo placements. They they still on that. <laughs> now, Virgo, I'm hoping that this week y'all will have a better reading. For real, for real. If you're new here, this is how I do it. I give uh, love. Well, spiritual message is first, then a love message, then a money message. So let's jump right in. Without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. We're going to start off with your uh, spiritual message. Oh, here they go. I'm like, where the cards go? All right, spirit guides, ancestors, great divine. What do you have for my Virgo placements? What is their spiritual message that they need to know? What is the spiritual message that Virgo placements need to know? What is it that they need to know? First thing out is cleanse. Okay, one of the things I noticed yesterday with a lot of the signs, there was a lot of spell work. It's been a lot of spell work, spell work, spell work has been really coming out heavy across multiple signs. And y'all are no different. First card y'all have is cleanse. You need to cleanse your mind, your body, your soul. It's now time for you to take a much needed cleansing. Just as you wash your car, clean your house, or tidy your office, your body also needs care and attention, especially your spiritual body. So it's time for some of y'all to do a spiritual cleanse, an emotional or physical cleansing. It's time to take a spiritual bath, baby. And if you don't know how, you better Google it, figure it out, talk to a practitioner. Uh, actually, you can go on uh, TikTok. There's people who tell you how to take a spiritual bath. You can go on YouTube. Y'all need some. Some of y'all need to clean off. I'm telling you, if cleanse is the first card out, you are, some of y'all are about to be up under spiritual attack or you are currently up under spiritual attack. And spirit is saying, clean off, baby. Okay? Get those energies up off of you. Vulnerability. See? And here's why. A lot of y'all are vulnerable right now. This is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense of feeling of vulnerable uh that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition it's okay to be vulnerable listen if you're stepping into the unknown with spirit that's the best place to be i kid you not that's the best place to be if you're gonna be vulnerable be vulnerable with spirit okay uh and by you doing that i'm telling you ain't nothing good ain't nothing but good gonna gonna, gonna happen with you but others of y'all are vulnerable and susceptible to these spiritual attacks and so you got to do what you need to do okay but don't let fear hold you back you know fear is is from the ego spirit is from love baby did y'all know that because your guides operate in a certain level of of understanding and they want to help you so you if you operating from uh ego ego is based in fear and fear will keep you from being vulnerable especially with spirit but if you put that down honey You'll move right on to the top. I kid you not. Virgo, some of y'all need to study. Spirit has its own way of letting you know it's time to study again. So if you started something and you were studying and you put it down, Spirit says, go pick it back up. We got some new things we want to do with that. Or some of y'all about to study something new. Study. Especially if it's got anything to do with spiritual work. At the top of the deck, animal kingdom. Animals of all types are extraordinary creatures with miraculous gifts. 
They are our spiritual companions since the dawn of time. In this moment, they have lessons to share with you that open your heart and soul. Some of y'all are going to be drawn to certain animals. Okay, and the reason why is because spirit is trying to tell you that these uh, these are like spirit animals. And it doesn't mean that this is your spirit animal to work with forever and ever. Not necessarily. But spirit is trying to tell you if there is uh, an animal and it feels like a calling to you, a pull, look up the spiritual meaning of that. And maybe that's the energy that you need to embody at this time. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, it says a child's love. The love between a parent and a child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during this time on earth. Children start out as a part of us. And from their first cries, they establish themselves as the biggest part of our hearts some of y'all y'all's babies need a little love and attention okay and spirit is telling you you need to go take a moment and go spend some time with that little your little your little baby okay okay because it's, it's a precious deep connection so spirit is saying take a little more time for your little ones okay that's it that's it see y'all spiritual message so far so good we ain't fussing i ain't going i ain't fussing <laughs> y'all must be on the side of right today okay leo got it though it's, it's a it's a it's a ooh -wee. it's one of them on demon time honey i kid you not <laughs> all right y'all we're gonna get into the cosmic insights we're gonna start with the cosmic insight oracle that's what spirit had me on this morning then we're going to go into the tarot, and then we're going to get messages of love. Then we're going to do money last, okay? And I'm going to apologize to you, Virgo, as well. You know, yesterday I felt like I was up to do another reading. And I have been forgetting what day it is because I didn't have so many days off with my daughter. Then it was Juneteenth and it was just a lot going on, honey. And I just kept losing track of what day it was. And so I jumped my happy butt on here and gave Sagittarius a ring before I did the other four signs. So I apologize. All right. First card out. First card. First card out. Y'all have is give it time. Everything happens in divine timing. Okay. Let things flow. Go with the flow. I don't know what they're talking about just yet, but we're going to find out. Patience. Woo, what is y'all not in patience? Listen, it's something y'all Virgos are doing. And honey, you want to speed it up, but spirit is telling you, slow down, baby. Let it grow. <laughs> you got to have some patience. You got to wait on divine timing. In just a few more months, some good stuff is coming to you. You just got to slow down, baby. Guardian, and know that your guardians are with you at this time. A loved one is watching over you. Spirit is watching over you. Liar is in reverse. Y'all see, listen, y'all are being protected from somebody who likes to lie. Okay, Virgo. Pregnancy, oh Lord. Well, now there go uh, your divine time, and some of y'all are pregnant. Somebody's expecting, either you expecting a real baby or you expecting to birth something new a new project or something and in and, and due time it's gonna it's gonna come into fruition whether it's a human baby or a spiritual baby a project or something patience date night somebody says get ready to be winding down honey oh lord follow behind pregnancy somebody trying to get you pregnant for oh lord let go somebody wants you though uh it says spirit listen it says, let go, make room for the new, a, a new beginning is on its way to you now. Challenges, make decisions that work on the inner healing. Right now, some of y'all have been experiencing a lot of challenges, but spirit is telling you the best decision you can make right now is to heal. Mercury retrograde, get ready to experience some electrical or communication uh, issues. We about to go into a Mercury retrograde. Actually, let me see. Let me see if I can find real quick when the next one is so y'all can know because it's coming up real soon honey the next one is august 4th august 4th so so stuff is getting ready to try to boomerang back around if you got any issues with somebody it's coming manifest now is a good time to manifest and tell the universe Virgo exactly what it is you want. Okay. 
Listen, y'all got to work late on divine timing, Virgo. I don't know what y'all got going on, but it says no. Right now is not the right time. Whatever it is you wanting, spirit, speed up. They saying no, 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 baby. Give it a couple more months. You can still manifest, but you got to be patient. Now, some of y'all are manifesting to a date with somebody. And right now, the answer is no. You got to wait. Okay? Everything... Review everything. Spirit is telling you it's now is the time to re to review everything with that Mercury retrograde. Okay, review everything. Divorce is in reverse. Somebody does not want to break up to end. They'll be back. I'm telling you, they 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 coming back and they do not want you to move on. And some of y'all are going to go to a wedding or you're about to enter a honeymoon phase. Somebody wants to have a honeymoon with you. They, they'll be back. They don't want something to not be over. Hell, somebody's experienced a health issue that could arise. Last one. You know, y'all got two that popped out. Sexuality. Somebody is currently trying to figure themselves out in cycles. Listen, Leo just got this one. I'll tell y'all the same thing. Fate, karma, or something is about out to end, something beginning. Listen, whatever cycle y'all on, if you reap, if you put out good, you're going to reap good. If you put out bad, you're going to reap bad. Do you understand what I say there? Okay, you reap what you sow. Okay? If you was doing on the side of right, you're going to reap good. If you was on the side of wrong, you better reap bad. But somebody need to let go and somebody don't want to. But liar, you ain't dealing with no liars. You see exactly what's in front of you. Okay? Now let's go into the uh, love messages of the tarot. Spirit, what do you got for my uh, Virgos in love? Sun, moon, and Venus rising. Hold on, y'all. Let me switch this. Okay. Just trying to make sure the video uploads. Like, that's my thing. I got to check. Let me be it. from the last read come out so I mixed them okay that's it okay spirit what you got for Virgos in love what is it that we need to know about them this week five cards to start us off oh okay y'all got the queen of pentacles upright oh lord the queen of swords upright the six of wands upright the star card. Okay, y'all done got two feminine energies out here. Earth sign and an air sign. So y'all either dealing with another uh, Capricorn, Taurus, a Virgo, or y'all dealing with a, a Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. We got two women out here with the Six of Wands and the star. Jesus. Ugh. And one masculine. <laughs> King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, Virgie, what y'all doing? <laughs> Where's this going? All right, let's start with this Cappy on the end. Spirit, tell me about this King of Pentacles in reverse. So, okay. This person thinks that they have gained some sort of enlightenment after... Mm. After getting themselves caught up in a situation. And now they've been waiting on how to figure out. Okay, so a Capricorn in reverse or a King of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody is out here that you was dealing with Virgo with a Capricorn placement who was selfish. Thinks that they now have an idea on uh they've gained some enlightenment they have gotten themselves caught up in a mental prison or actual jail they feel like or they feel like they're in jail i should say and they're waiting on an opportunity to get free they have hope to get free anyway clarify the star 
they hope that they still have options. Strong options at that. And that somebody has not left. Did you leave somebody, Virgo? Who? They hope that, 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 that there is still a strong, that, that you are a still a strong option and that you have not left. Okay, clarify that six of wands. This just sound like this is about to get terrible. Yeah, they hope that you will still see them and not leave them with the six of swords in the upright. Yeah, Virgo, somebody don't want you to leave. They don't want you to, they know that you see them as a burden, but they don't want you to release the burden. They don't want you to release them. Yeah, their, their goal is that you have not released them. Even though you might view them as a burden. I'm nervous, honey, because with these two queens out here, that look, that's, it's like screaming third party situation, Virgo. And y'all are out here with that queen of pentacles. So it's looking like, because there's only one masculine, but I see two feminine energies. And y'all are out here because y'all the queen of pentacles. Y'all's energy is pulling from the queen of pentacles. So there's a difference. A, a masculine had a choice between two. Somebody has Virgo placements or earth placements in their chart. So somebody has an earth placement or an air sign, excuse me, or an air sign placement in their chart or fire in their chart. Okay, so there's a third party here, but somebody is hoping, Virgo, that you have not left a situation. Their goal is that you have not released them, okay? They want you to continue to be a strong option for them and not leave. Whew. Okay. So Spirit, tell me about this Queen of Wands. Who is this Queen of Wands? I mean, excuse me. I keep wanting to say Queen of Wands. Queen of Swords, y'all. My apologies. Queen of Swords. Who is the Queen of Swords? This is somebody... Somebody is wants to leave a family situation with the ten of pentacles in reverse and go do their own thing with the hermit and that's y'all's energy virgo yeah ace of cups what is, one more okay this is what it's looking like let me see, because there's the King of Swords. Who is, is the King of Swords this King of Pentacles? Are they, is this the same person, the King of Swords reverse and the King of Pentacles? Is this the same person, Spirit, upright for yes? Is this the same person? Wait, I, y'all, let me put that back. Let me shuffle. Because it, I, the way that I it landed, there was no way for me to know. Is that is that the same person? The King of Swords here and the King of Pentacles. Is this the same person? The same energy? No. Okay. Well, clarifying the Queen of Cups, she had the Ten of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Ace of Cups, and the King of Swords. Here, it looks like somebody does not, somebody wants to offer a cup. But they want to offer it to themselves? Is that what you're saying here? Yeah, somebody wants to offer themselves a cup after a third party situation. They decided to just offer the cup to their damn self. They want to leave the king of swords behind and heal. And just offer themselves a cup. Yeah, they want to end something, heal, and offer themselves a cup. Now, who is this Queen of Pentacles? This is somebody who is not looking for a knight in shining armor. Okay, Virgo, you ain't looking for no knight in shining armor. 
yeah, you are cool with just doing your own thing. Four cups. You can close out. If you are talking, you letting it be known, honey. But yeah, you ain't really looking at love options right now. So you've cut off communication. You're not talking. Page of Swords reverse. And this is making somebody feel like they are in chaos and conflict and like you have left them out of the cold, Virgo. So let me get this straight. Is the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords the same person here upright for yes? Yes. Okay, so Virgo, you are that okay, so let me let me let me go back. So remember I said it's two feminines out here. You're both feminine. You are the queen and the, the swords and the uh queen of pentacles. Okay? That energy is both yours. So it's looking like you decided to detach yourself from a family situation, give self love to yourself, separate yourself from third party situations and heal. You you just completely ended anything that looked like it was a third party situation. And now you're not looking for love. You're not you're doing your own thing. You're not talking to nobody. You ain't texting nobody. You ain't doing none of that. And that has created chaos and conflict for somebody. Now, somebody sees that you have released yourself from this. You're not giving to it no more. You're not giving them no type of recognition. Like this did not meet your goals. Now, their hope though is that you will remain still a valuable option. But it's looking like whoever this is, they have gained enlightenment that you felt like you was waiting on them and waiting on them made you feel trapped. And now they're hoping that you will stay an option. And But it looks like you and strongly choose not to leave, but it looks like you left anyway with that five of swords. I think, yeah, okay. Yeah, we got the page of was. Excuse me, y'all. I don't mean to you I probably need another cup of coffee. So somebody wants you to wait on them, Virgo. But it's looking like you're not. It looks like you left. And you're doing your own thing. You're pouring into yourself. That's good, Virgie. You know, y'all like doing y'all own thing anyway, hey. So that's good. But somebody feels like they're in a trapped situation and they want you to wait on them and not leave. Yeah, they want to reverse the tower. Yeah, they quickly want to reverse the tower, whoever this is. Yeah. They just, but things right now, um, they can't get things under their control, but they do know that they want to return to you, Virgo. Yeah, they want to balance things out with you, Virgo. Somebody wants to balance things out for you. They want you to wait on them. They're, they, 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 they've gotten themselves caught up. Whoever you was dealing with, Virgo, got themselves caught up. They feel like they are in a mental prison or something like they trapped or caught up with someone or something. Clarify this Eight of Swords. Why does this person feel like they in a mental thing? Because they feel like they're not going to get a new start with you. They feel like that something between you and them is completely over death. Eight of Pentacles. Like it just wasn't working and they're not going to get this new start with you. So whatever this is, this is making them feel like they're in a mental prison, but they want you to wait on them. So they didn't got their sales caught up. They want to fix stuff with you, but it's looking like you're doing your own thing. Virgo, it's like you're not expecting, like you ain't looking for no night in shining armors. You're not looking to talk to nobody. It's like you just in your bubble and you cool with it. But y'all like being in a bubble. The hermit card is out here. That's y'all. Y'all love to be in a bubble, honey. Yeah. Somebody is not happy. I don't think it's you though, Virgo. It's not, like I'm not picking up on it. But somebody's not happy that you have not returned and they want to balance things out. Yeah, they are heavily stressed. Somebody is very, very, very stressed. With the not, well, no, well, you look unstressed about things. One part, okay, listen. So one person is on, like at night, sick to their stomach. That things between y'all is not growing with the three of pentacles and the four of swords. Somebody is sick to their stomach. The stuff is between y'all is out of balance and not growing. But then another one of y'all is just not stressed about it at all. Virgo is looking like you're not stressed. Yeah, you comfortable doing your... You Virgo! Y'all comfortable doing your own thing. 
But somebody else is stressed the hell out about you doing your own thing and they want you to wait. They want you to wait. Yeah, they want you to show them mercy and birth something new with them with. Yeah, because somebody sees you as their ultimate wish for them with that Ten of Cups. But you don't see it like that. You feel like this is like a bad... Like you're guarding yourself. Oh, shoot. You're guarding yourself against this person. And it's looking like not only are you guarding yourself against this person, you feel like the whole situation with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, like this was not beneficial for you at all. At all. Okay, Virgo. Two different energies. So somebody wants you to wait on them. Then they got themselves caught up. And you looking like, nope, I'm going to do my Virgo thing. <laughs> you done got caught up. I'm over here doing Virgo. <laughs> okay, Virgo, can't nobody be mad at you for that, baby. Okay, messages of love. What does Virgo's person want to say to Virgo? Spirit, what does Virgo's person want to say to Virgo? Last one. Y'all, now when I shuffled, all the cards was going in one direction. But now, as I'm getting ready to, you know, how you cut the cards, and three cards is, is upright. This is, I'm going to tell you what it say too. And it wasn't just a minute ago. Soulmate is in reverse. So whoever this is, they do not feel like y'all soulmates. They feel like y'all are a twin flame. It says this is a divine counterpart. They don't think y'all soulmates. They think that you're the twin flame. And there it is again. Wait. I told you somebody wants you to wait. Somebody wants you to wait on them, Virgo. They didn't got their sales into something, honey. And they want you to wait. This is what your person says. They know that right now you don't want to play. Um, you don't, you're not really in a, in a playful mood with them right now. You're kind of doing your own thing. But they want you to come around and laugh and goof off and, they want, and, 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 and just enjoy time with them. But you're not. They see that you are heavily working on your finances or financial issues or challenges or affecting this nation. So either they worry about their finances or you are Virgo. Chemistry. They understand that you feel like there is a lack of chemistry. And that y'all on two different pages. Y'all just don't share the same vision. And it looks like one of y'all don't have no regrets about it. What does Virgo want to say to their person? This love is emotional, physical, and it was unconditional. It was true love. Time apart, though. Hey, my apologies, Somebody. Virgo. <clears throat> I forgot to delete the uh, last few readings. Anyway, we're talking about your cards. You see this person is a true love. You thought it was emotional, physical, and unconditional, but you're comfortable with there being time apart to work on your finances. Uh, some of y'all have children with whoever this person is, and that, this was an important aspect to a partnership. So either they have children, or y'all have children, or you have children, or somebody got some kids here. Okay. Stability. Somebody is not stable. They see the other person is unstable, and somebody is being uh, ignoring the red flag. Spirit, what is the mutual energy? They're not ignoring. Yeah, somebody's ignoring the red flags. Abundance again. You, if you somebody's working on their abundance, trust there is no trust in this relationship and no vulnerability being shown whatsoever. Mastery somebody uh, needs uh, has uh, learned, somebody is mastering their spiritual lesson at this time. Healing and they're healing. It's probably you, Virgo, going out and doing your own thing. You're not currently around this person. And you don't really, and you don't want to get married. You don't. You don't really see this as an obstacle. And you really don't see this person as a friend either. At the bottom of the deck, rejections in reverse. You don't feel rejected by this person. And you are comfortable with, uh, it says release. Somebody does not want this to be over. Again, one of y'all don't want it to be over. Mm. 
All right, let's go into your money. Spirit guys, ancestors, great divine. What do you have for Virgo placements money? What is it that they need to know at this time? Just three cards, please, Spirit. I'm gonna take a break before I finish uh, Libra and Scorpio. I am so glad that y'all stuff is so much calmer than last week. Cause child, I did not. Some of y'all are gonna need a money manager. You are. It indicates that your career or your finances is getting ready to take a huge leap forward. Okay. So, or are you, or you're going to step into a leadership position where you're going to get into money management or something to do with finances. Expect a happy outcome when it comes to your finances. Virgo, you're doing something really, really good. Legal is at legal is out here. You might have to take care of some legal matters related to your financial issues. If you are out of balance, some people going, you know, some of y'all might be being sued. <laughs> Or you might be getting some money from a legal matter. You could receive money from some kind of legal matter. This is a good time to handle any legal matters without involving money. So some of y'all might have to take care, have some legal issues pop up due to finances. And others of you could receive money from some sort of legal, some legality. Patience. Spirit is telling y'all to have patience and have persistence. Okay. Divine timing. They told y'all that. It was like one of the first cards out when we did the uh cosmic insights y'all need to have patience divine timing is at hand it requires having faith while you are shown the way you may feel tired and out of balance and the universe is forcing you to rest and to recover money may be slow uh in coming in or un or unsat or you might be unsatisfied with your uh finances but spirit is telling you to keep having persistence your efforts are not going have not gone unnoticed and success is just around the corner you just need to follow through with what you set out to do consistently until you reach your goal hard work is required to keep building on your finances it's going to require a little bit of work virgo don't give up okay whatever you've been working on do not give up spirit said keep working keep having that persistence you will get there i promise you you're gonna get there y'all are like right there please don't give up virgo all right, y'all, that's it. That's all I got for you today on I Am The Light. Thank you for joining me on your way out. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe, or that notification bell. You'll know when I upload. And until next time, bye, baby.